guys welcome back to my channel um, for those of you who don't know me my name is Kelly I'm a reseller on platforms like eBay Poshmark Macari Tracy thread up all kinds of platforms so today I have a Goodwill haul for you guys this is my first time I think actually going to the Goodwill outlet this year because before uh, the stay-at-home order I don't think I had been and then of course the stay-at-home order was around like two or three months and then probably like two or three weeks after the Google Outlet opened, I went. So the rules are a little different. They're only changing the bins two times. So each time I would go there, I just happened to be there for around like two hours and there was time to change the bins. So we would have to go outside, line up, wait for them to sanitize. And then we would, if that would take like 30 minutes and then I'd go back in and be in for probably another like two hours. So I was, it was like double trips. So it really wasn't too bad. It's supposed to be one person, one, one or two people to a bin. So it really wasn't that bad at all. Um, I got some good stuff and I'm really excited to show you guys. And I think I got like around 40, 45 pounds. So let's just get it right into the haul. So this first top right here is by Dwa. It's a 100% silk. Here's the label right here. It's actually a size small, and this is sold at Anthropology, it's sold at Nordstrom, it's sold at New York Marcus. So this does, this brand does retail for a lot. It resells pretty well, not too, it's not too bad. Um, I'm expecting to get around $35 for this top. Um, a lot of them are priced at like um, $49 or $59. So yeah, I really like this top. It's really pretty. This is my first time selling draw, so we'll see how it does. This next item is by Clover Canyon. So it's just this sheer, like, dolman sleeve top. And here's the tag. Clover Canyon. X small. So this is a, like, designer high-end brand. So this probably retailed for, like, I don't know, upward $300 or more. So I might consider sending this to thread up. I don't know. I might be able to get like 20, you know, 20, 30 dollar payout there and I don't have to do anything, don't take photos, just send it into them. If I try to sell on my own, I'm hoping to get around 20 to 25 dollars. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, but definitely this is a um, pretty good brand. Next is this gold polo men's top. And this is a Nike dry fit top. So I always actually pick up Nike dry fit because it actually does really well and it actually pretty, sells pretty quickly. Um, so far I only picked up two tops and it happened to be a size large. So I expect this to sell pretty quickly and do well. I'm expecting around 15 to 20 dollars for this top. So I definitely would suggest picking up Nike dry fit. It does do well. By the way, if you hear that loud noise, it is my air conditioning. It's like 100 degrees outside, so. Next item is by Point Sur. Point Sur is um, a line or a sister line associated with um, J. Crew. So they're a size 10, and they're this just linen drawstring jogger. This is what the bottom looks like. So comps on these looks really good. I've never sold this brand, but I have heard of this brand before. And I'm expecting to get around $20 for these. Next, I have this Philosophy Turtleneck. So it is this um, soft wool oversized turtleneck. I'm um, show you the tag. So here's the tag, size small. And this is something I usually will pick up at the bin. So usually I wear gloves at the bins, but I felt I still can like feel for the most part the item. So when I felt this, I was like, oh wait, is this cashmere? But it's only wool, but it's still super soft. Definitely it will keep you super warm during winter or fall. And yeah, I do like this brand. I have sold this brand before in the past. So I'm expecting to get around $15 to $20 for this one. So the next item I picked up is by Pack Sun. So this brand, this is a mall brand, um, doesn't retail for much, but these were brand new with tags. Um, they have this like splattered look on the front, like distressing. They're 30 by 30. So usually when the tag looks like this, they are men's, they're not women's. So I looked up comps and they don't look too bad. So I'm expecting to get around $20 for these. Next, I have this pair of cachet 100% suede 
Bottoms and Cache is one of those brands that has a really good following. Cache size zero. And then when I looked around, they're actually new at tag, so they retailed for $218, 100% suede. And I really like these. They're unique, they're different, they're cute. They have this like satin teen like panel right here. They have this slit right here on the pant leg. And I'm hoping to get around $30 for these. Next is this Cynthia Rally um, swim dress. So it's like semi sheer. It is like this striped blue detail. It's kind of like bunched up right here. Super cute. Perfect for poolside. Here is the tag right here. Cynthia Rally size medium. So this brand is also sold at like a Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus. There also is a separate, she also has a separate website and her dresses are ranging like upwards $300, $400. So it's a brand that retails for a lot, but you find it in like Marshalls, you find it in like TJ Maxx. So we'll see how this does. I am hoping to get around $15 for this particular dress. Next is this pair of Abercrombie & Fitch sweatpant joggers. So don't always pick up men's, but I really like these. They were soft, they're in great condition. And I believe Abercrombie & Fitch actually closed down. So I figured there are probably people who follow this brand, love this brand, and will be looking for something like this. Hoping to get around $20 for these. Next is this cocoon sleeve cardigan it's so pretty i absolutely love this floral color so so pretty so here's the tag it's roth i believe so it's one size and when i saw this brand i was like okay this must be a brand that's sold at like boscov's or jc penny's looked it up and it's actually sold at anthropology so learned a new anthropology brand i'm expecting to get around 35 dollars for this next is this pretty baby blue button up top blouse um really pretty it's by ann taylor so usually i do not pick up ann taylor but i don't know i just thought this was a pretty blouse really pretty print um, I'm hoping to get around $15 to $20 for this. Now this brand is something that retails for a lot of money. It does have a following. It doesn't always resell for the most, but it depends on the style. Of course, it depends on a particular print or a particular style, but typically doesn't resell for much. But I'm hoping to get around $15 for this. Next is this really pretty paisley print dress. Um, it has like the button detail on the sleeve, kind of like a drop waist. It's like a tunic top or a dress. Um, V-neck button up. Here's the tag. It's loft. Size X small. And I just really like the print on this. Thought it was really pretty. Don't always pick up loft. It, dep it depends on the particular style or a print that I really think stands out and looks really pretty. And I typically can get like anywhere from 15 to 23 dollars so I'm expecting around 15 20 dollars for this next are these Athleta leggings they're really soft um, they have this ruching detail at the bottom leg and they are a size medium Athleta is like a hit or miss for me sometimes I end up picking up sometimes I don't pick it up any like newer style I typically will pick up the tops don't do too well for me the leggings I can usually sell so I am expecting around $24 $25 I couldn't find the exact style for these if you do know the style definitely comment below and let me know but I am expecting around $25 for these next is this pretty maxi dress it's like a tube top um, I really like this ruffle, not ruffle detail, but this eyelet detail. I thought that was pretty. And it is actually just Old Navy, size small. Um, but I really like the style of it. I feel like dresses are very, definitely selling. 
during summertime I don't have the best luck selling them during like winter and fall but during summer I feel like they definitely do move for me a little more so I picked it up decided to give it a try of course it doesn't retail for a lot but I am expecting to get around anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars for this dress so a lot of these items I'm actually going to just put in my 5 for 25 sale that I'm actually running in my closet. So these are definitely great filler items for that. Next is this pair of lands and women's swim trunks. So they have front pockets right here. They have a drawstring. These are a size 16. Uh, lands and, especially lands and swim trunks is a brand I definitely always pick up always pick up their swim bottoms every time I see them they sell for me every single time I am expecting to get around $15 for these next item is this linen long sleeve men's next item is this Ralph Lauren uh, long sleeve button down top so when I saw this in the bins I was feeling that I was like wait a second this feels like linen so immediately threw it in my car and then when I looked up comps, comps look pretty good. I should be able to get $25 for this top. It is 100% linen, so great for the season right now, summer. So yeah, it's in excellent condition, so that should be good. I've never sold the brand before, but again, comps look solid, so should do well. I don't know why I always pick these up, but I do. It should do well, I mean, I don't know why I always pick these up, but I picked up this shirt sleeve, um, old navy top. It's a size 2X, and it actually is new with tags. I think that's why I picked it up. I'm like, oh, it's new with tags. Um, so I'm thinking I should get probably around like 5 to $10 for this. Again, another item to put in my 5 for 25 sale. And yeah. Another item that I'm kind of like, okay, why did I pick this up? So it's another old navy top. Um, it is new with tags. It's a size XL. Just like a rib long sleeve basic top. Again, another $5 to $10 sale. Next item is by Alice and Olivia. High end brand. Sold. Nordstrom. Lima Marcus. Stores like that. <laughs> um, so it's a size small. Here's a tag. That is an older tag. Um, so pick this up. 100% silk. So pick this up, um, had thoughts of sending it over to Thread Up. Maybe I could get, I was thinking like a $10, $15 profit because I'm definitely wouldn't, this probably wouldn't sell in my closet just because of the particular style. So I'm thinking about sending it to them, we'll see. If I sold it on my own, I'd probably only get around $15 for it though, if I'm lucky. <laughs> Next are these Drew pants so drew is so drew is sold at anthropology drew you'll also find at marshall's you'll also find it at tj maxx you'll find it at many different stores um it is new with tags they are a size small now i love these these are perfectly my style i want to keep them perfectly my style i actually want to keep them really bad so they have these little slits in the front so cute love 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 these so much um if they don't sell for the price i want to get for the price i want to get i'm gonna keep them <laughs> um i'm thinking i'm gonna get around 60 dollars for these if i don't get 60 dollars they're mine <laughs> okay moving on so we have this Eileen Fisher cardigan. Every time I'm at the bins, I always find at least one Eileen Fisher piece. This was my one piece I found. It's the button front detail. It has these pockets. I love it. It's like a knit feel. It is alpaca and wool, and it is a size medium. Size medium. And love, love, love this. Want to keep it? I'm not going to keep it. And I'm hoping to get around $75 for this. Eileen Fisher is a great brand. I always sell Eileen Fisher. It always does well for me. I don't usually get a lot for it, but I think it honestly, once again, depends on the particular piece, depends on the particular style. So I didn't see anything like that when I was looking up comps, so we'll see. Next item is, 
Now, now why does this look dirty the whole time? When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, because I haven't, I've never found anything like this at the bin. So it's this free people movement, like faux Sherpa uh, jacket, zip up jacket. So it has these pockets on the side, it has this little like drawstring thingy on the neck. It is by free people free people movement it is a size x small i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that that's what the tag looks like so another item that i love 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 absolutely want to keep i'm not gonna keep it so comps look low comps were like 35 dollars i'm gonna try to get at least like 50 55 dollars for this um it's really cute it's in excellent condition i want to keep it i'm not gonna keep it but yeah next item is by soft surrounding so it is this button up like three-fourths sleeve top with the collar um kind of like this v-neck right here it's a size 1x this is what the tag looks like this might be a newer tag and i have sold soft surroundings before it does do well for me it has a great following they have like mid-range brands I mean mid-range prices so not too not super expensive but not exactly cheap um look how intricate these buttons are I love how these buttons look so pretty love this so I'm definitely expecting this to do well and I'm expecting around $25 for this piece so this next item is by Michael Michael Kors it is this pretty dress it has like a faux like not rat but um i can't think of it <laughs> i can't think i can't even think of this right now but it's really cute it's long sleeve it has a v-neck it is a size 1x so that is like one of the main reasons why i picked it up again plus sizes always do so well for me so i am expecting to get around 20 to 25 dollars more like 25 dollars for this dress um so i was looking at thread up if i send it a thread up i'll probably get around a 15 to 20 dollar payout if i'm lucky so i think i'm just gonna probably sell it on my own we'll see i think i'll be better off selling it on my own next item when i saw it i immediately grabbed it so This next item, when I saw this, I immediately grabbed it. I immediately saw this tag. And I was like, oh wait, isn't that, uh, I couldn't think of the name at first, but I was like, oh, blank by um, Anthro Soda Anthropology. So the name is actually underneath the tag. So it's Blank London by Anthropology. So this is one size. And this is just a beautiful floral, like, Dolman sleeve. I would say this is more like a kind of like a dolman sleeve kimono. And really pretty. Absolutely love it. Super cute. And I'm expecting to get around $30 for this. So next is this really pretty dress. Um, I really like this little flare detail at the bottom, stripes, and it is by this brand, Elos. So never heard of this brand before looked it up Bruh. so I looked up the brand it's like a plus size brand they sell trendy stylish clothing they sell sizes from 10 to like 34 I believe it said and up so comps look pretty good across different platforms um, specifically on Poshmark so I am expecting to get around $18 for this next we have another nike um next we have another nike dry fit top this is actually nike pro so i've actually sold this exact same top before in a size large it sold within like a day or two i believe so i definitely picked this up and gave i'm gonna give this a try i should be getting around ten dollars for this Next is adorable camel print blouse by Lane Bryant. It's a size 26. So again, these are great pieces to bundle in my 5 for 25 sale. Um, it's sleeveless. It has this little area right here. So I thought this was really cute. A little keyhole detail in the back. 
So I love, love, love camo. So this is cute and I am actually expecting to get around 13 to 15 for this. So next is this, oh, let's tuck these in. Next is this pretty floral maxi dress. I love this print, it's so pretty. Um, long maxi dress, it did have a belt, but the belt is gone. I'll probably either keep it or cut it off. Either way, I'll note it in the listing. So this looks like it's a size medium and it is called Laylist. Now this is a boutique brand, but I also saw that it sold at a store called Shop Teach. Shop Teach just sells trendy clothing from different brands like BB Dakota, uh, just different sorts of brands. Um, and then they only, they have their also their own boutique store online. Comps look pretty decent, so I'm actually hoping to get around $18 for this dress. We'll see. Never sold the brand before, but we'll see. Guys, I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I've never found this much free people at the bins in one week. So this is a We The Free by Free People, like off the shoulder cow neck or cow neck top. It's like this pink ombre color, super cute. Um, it is a size small. This is what the tag looks like. I'm expecting to get around $18 for this top. Next, we have a Vineyard Vines for Target. Yeah, Vineyard Vines, Vineyard Vines for Target um, pullover. Next, we have a Vineyard Vines for Target kids pullover. Um, it's in great condition. It is a size large, 14, 16. There's the tag right there. So just a basic, simple uh, stripe pullover. And I am actually looking to get around 10 to $15 for this. Next is this little swing uh, tunic or dress top by um, American Eagle Outfitters. This is a brand that sometimes I will pick up. It depends on the style, but I thought this print was really pretty. And again, another item I can put in my five for 25 sale. Um, it is a size medium. That's what the tag looks like. So yeah, super cute. And again, just another easy, like 10 to $15 item. Next is this linen pair of shorts. They're like a charcoal black color. It's by Not Your Daughter's Jeans. So, and this is actually the Lift Tuck Technology short. So these are a, they're size six. So comps looked okay for this. I feel like this brand has a pretty decent following. Um, they just sell like really comfortable jeans, really comfortable shorts. Um, they do retail for a good amount. Like these may have retailed for like, maybe like 90 up, 90 plus. Um, but I'm only expecting to get around $20 for these. Next is this Roxy crop top. I don't know why I picked this up. I have no clue. Um, it is a size medium. I, I don't know. I do not know. Like if I'm lucky, maybe I can get $5 for this. I don't know. Maybe just like a filler item and I just threw it in my car. I didn't even realize I threw it in my car and didn't take it out. Um, when I went to go check out or something like that. But yeah, probably in a, a like $5 sale. Roxy is one of those brands, it doesn't retail for much and it doesn't resell for much. Um, resale value is very low and I really couldn't find any comps at all on this. So again, probably like a $5 sale. Next is this cute little romper. Pretty like mave, mauve, whatever you want to call it, pink color. It has these pockets. I love anything with pockets. Um, it is lightweight. It is a size 10 Urban Outfitters. So super cute. And I'm looking to get around $10 for this. Next is this pretty BCBG Max Azria dress. And I picked this up with Red Up in mind. It has pockets. Love, love, love pockets. Here's the tag. Here's the tag, and it is a size 10. So I have sold the CBG Max Azria, I think like two times, two or three times. So, and I usually end up getting anywhere from a 15 to 20 dollar payout. Now, I wasn't increasing my prices or anything, whatever they priced it at, I was pretty much just keeping it at that price. 
so I actually would probably hope to get maybe a maybe a $30 $40 payout for this um, it's a really pretty dress um, if I were to sell this on my own I would expect to get around maybe $30 maybe $40 if I'm lucky again it's a brand I usually don't carry in my closet so I'm not sure how well it would actually do next is this adorable polo by Ralph Lauren little top it was just so cute it's like a three-piece it actually is supposed to be a three-piece set but I picked it up it's adorable I actually think I can sell this for like $10 so we'll see if not I'll just send it to Freda so next I have this top it's by Jade Melody Tam so I never heard of this brand before but when I saw it when I saw it I just immediately picked it up because I thought it was a very pretty color and I thought this would be a great style for someone to wear maybe casual business attire um, size large there's the tag so this is a like southern boutique brand um, doesn't retail for that much so I'm looking to get around $18 for this top. Next is this wool of alpaca blend sweater and it is by Moth. Moth is sold at Anthropology, and it does retail for a pretty decent amount. Um, here's the tag, size large. And sometimes it's hard for me to move Moth. Um, I typically do pick up sweaters like this and it's really hard for me to move them. I don't know why. I picked this one up have no idea um, hoping to get $20 if I can move it so I don't know why I picked this up I just don't it's a very nice sweater though warm multicolor cute but yeah I definitely need to work on not always picking things up just because I'm like oh it's cheap I, I, you know it's a good it's a decent brand it's a good brand if I know that particular brand brand doesn't sell for me like why <laughs> next is this adorable Adidas uh, zip front jacket for girls kind of like a peplum with a little shirt tail so so cute it is a 3t so I looked and looked and looked couldn't find the bottoms I was like okay I'm done so I'm actually hoping to get around $15 though for the jacket. So we'll see. So that's not bad for a little girl's jacket that someone's willing to pay $15 just for the jacket. This next top is by XCVI. This brand has a great following. Um, this is my first time picking the brand up and it is this pretty cream top. It has like this, I don't know if you want to call it crochet detail you could say. It's also along the sleeves along the sides right here here is the tag so it's a size medium xcvi so this is sold at um like neiman marcus um it has again a great following it retails for kind of a lot i mean not super expensive but prices are decent i am actually hoping to get around 25 dollars for this top comps look pretty decent so we'll see it's my first time selling the brand so the next day I was at the bins I found another Eileen Fisher top so this is like a dolman sleeve oversized top v-neck and it is a size x large it's linen and I'm expecting to get $35 for this top now I've sold something similar 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 to this in the past and I think I got $20 but I've seen people sell these I've seen online comps where they're selling these for a little higher than what I'm used to getting like 15 20 so I'm gonna try to get a higher price for items like this next is a top by Ashley store and it is this sheer peplum long sleeve top deep v-neck another size 26 so it would be perfect if all this 26s that I have someone would come in bundle them that would be an ideal situation we'll see 
but yeah this is super cute and just another item to put in that 5 for 25 sale and i am expecting to at least get like ten dollars for this top next is this top by loft again not a brand i always pick up depends on the style depends on the print i thought this print was really pretty i like the gray with the floral detailing the yellow the teal i thought it was pretty it has the um pussy bow tie I thought it was cute. I like it. It's a size small. I'm expecting around $13 to um, $13 to $15 for this top. Next is this top. It's by Lucy Love. When I saw it, I grabbed it. I thought it was maybe something expensive. But upon looking up comp, it's like a boutique, boutique brand. So it actually had matching shorts, but they ended up getting bleached by accident. So... I just have the top so we'll see i'll be lucky if i can get like ten dollars for the top we'll see it does have this cute like little like tie front detailing so we'll see next is this torrid top i i love the uh star print and it just has this like large cutout in the front here's a tag so i love selling torrid definitely a consistent seller for me always does well I'm hoping to get around 12 to 15 for this top. Next is this cute flutter sleeve, free people top. Um, I like the stripe detail. It's like sweetheart neckline. It's really cute. It's a size medium. And I'm looking for around $20 for this top. This is a long haul, guys. Comment below apples if you're still watching this haul and also like this video and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out i really appreciate it next is a pair of hudson linen pants i've never sold husband hudson i've never picked it up it is like a more expensive denim line they don't only sell denim but known for their denim and these are a size large Hudson um, they have these pockets on the side and again perfect for spring perfect for summer they're like a jogger I'm actually hoping to get around $30 for these so I'm actually hoping to get around $30 for these next is this kids marmot Marmot jacket. I've never sold this brand before. I've heard about it. It does retail for a lot. Size small. This actually is pretty recent. It's from, I believe it's from 20, 2018, I believe. Now, big, big mistake that I made. I forgot to check the zipper. Yes. So, of course, the zipper doesn't work. So, I'm hoping to get $25 for this. We'll see with the zipper being broken broken or not working. I'll be lucky if I can get $25 for it. We'll see. Next is this Boston proper blouse. It's like a sateen feel. It is so pretty. I love this blush pink color. Here's the tag. I feel like this brand has a good following. I have sold this brand in the past. Um, for the particular shirt that I had, it did get a good amount of attention. It did bring a good amount of attention to my uh, Poshmark closet. The pussy bow tie is cute. We have the button up detail. So really pretty blouse. Super excited about this. And I'm hoping to get around $20 for this blouse. And last for clothing, I have this Zara. I have this Zara jacket. Sour cream jacket. Um, it does have a seam in the back. Um, you probably can't see it, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get that out. Um, it definitely will come out. Um, here's the Zara tag. It is a size small. So that is it for clothing. Now we're gonna move on to shoes. I forgot to show you. I did pick out one purse. Um, no specific brand um it is brand new i just thought it was really cute it has like these birds and these little elephant the little horse on a rocking chair and it was like brand new so probably like 15 
15 20 for this first is this Tory Burch flip-flop yes just a single Tory Burch flip-flop I actually sold a single Tory Burch flip-flop in the past and I would usually price it around $15 and get $12 so this is cute it's like a like a zebra print I don't know the size um, but it's in good condition next is this pair of booties they're like a velvet um they have like the size on the bottom they're seven and a half and they have the tj maxx tag so i'll probably price them for like 15 20 bucks looking for 15 or 20 bucks for these they're by mia next is this pair of shoes by free people immediately grabbed these when i saw them super cute i love this like purple I love purple. Purple is my favorite, favorite, favorite color. What size is this? Oh, size 39. I'm not sure what that converts to. So size 39 and I am looking to get around $25 for these. Next is a pair of shoes. They're by Fly London and they're like this, like, they're like this. I don't know, it's like shiny leather look with the peak toe um this ankle little detail so fly london is a uk a uk based brand their shoes retail not a lot but again a good mid-range have a really great following um people are always seeking these out i am looking these have a little bit of wear inside but i'm still looking to get with the wear like 40 to 50 dollars on the high end 50 on a low end 40 dollars we'll see next are these super cute michael by michael kors red loafers they are a size eight and a half um super cute they're in great condition um just some of course some normal wear at the bottom but great condition i'm um, looking to get around 35 dollars for these so of course there's Michael Kors collection, there's Michael, I think they're like Michael by Michael Kors and there's like Kors by Michael Kors. So this is Michael by Michael Kors. Doesn't retail for nearly as much as Michael Kors collection does, but I think these will still do well. Last pair of shoes that I found, it's my first time finding this brand and it is the uh, Supagra, 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 Supagra. Superga. Great sneakers. Superga. So Superga is a Italian fashion sneaker line. They sell women's, men's, and kids sneakers. These are size, these are size five and a half, so pretty small. Um, but they're in great condition. Don't really look like they were worn too much. They're really clean. And I am actually hoping to get $25 for this. Okay, we are almost done. Stay with me, guys. Okay, so usually don't buy hardware goods. I've done it in the past. Didn't work out too well. <laughs> so they had a lot of home goods items and they actually like zeroed them out. They were like zeroed out and they like, you know, blacked out the sticker and all. So a lot of like Easter items from Home Goods were there. So I picked up these two cups. I picked up this. Blanking out on the name. If you know the name of this, comment below. Let me know. Picked up these Easter plates. Really cute. And then I picked up this plate right here just has a tag um, blacked out the price blacked out I am probably gonna price this at $20 we'll see what happens okay so that is it we are done so like I said I spent $39.84 on everything I'm expecting to get $1,368 net earnings one thousand ninety four dollars and forty cent and after fees which i'll just say like twenty percent let's just say like twenty percent so i'll net profit one thousand and fifty four dollars that is including me just selling things on my own and then sending maybe one or two items to thread up but again 
we'll see what I end up doing. I have no idea. I know how I I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm more than likely, I'm definitely gonna list a large majority of these items and send probably like a few pieces to thread up. That is it. Thank you for sticking around for this haul video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.